Welcome back to Art Books Reviewed. Now then, check that out. Look at that. What a gorgeous book that is. What a massive book that is. It is Metal Slug, The Ultimate History. Um, it's published by Bitmap Books that make a series of, sort of retro gaming books, which are brilliant. Um, each and every one of them seems to have captured a bit of nostalgia in there. Um, also, look at this. It's just... I love orange, as I say many times on this channel. I love the way the spine has just got that orange kind of, and it's rougher. It's got the orange kind of ribbon in as well. And okay, I actually, I can't claim to be a metal slug expert. Barely played it, it somehow escaped me. Um, I think it was on platforms, consoles I didn't own at the time. But what I love about this book is it's massive and it's just absolutely littered with lots of like pixel art from the, the game series. I think there was three of them, I might be wrong there. Um, so let's have a look inside uh, and see what's what's on offer here. So this book has got 450 pages or thereabouts. So it is a monster and I certainly won't be able to go through all of it. Um, and as I said there, I'm not an expert anyway, so I can't talk on this subject with any authority. However, I will just flick through some of the pages here, and give you a taste of what's on offer, which is very tasty. So here we go. just say here at this point look at the art it's really i mean the art itself is amazing this pixel art must have taken ages to do this frame by frame animation and to draw the backdrops and also to put this book together uh, it must have taken a long time also to select and lay it all out and research it um, so they've done an amazing job in putting this book together and, and it's really a joy for me to look through it really reminds me of being a kid and playing these kind of games long before we had the Xboxes, Playstations and possibly before things like Google too as you can see there's lots of concept artwork as well as uh, actual uh, art from the game quite a few bits here where you get this sort of frame by frame animations look at the amount of work that went into just animating this mummy alone for example or this sword wielder Again, there's more sprite animation here, real art uh, to this, to make it look smooth and to actually work and to flow. Did a bit of game development myself, so I do know that it's laborious and you've got to get it right so that it's, you know, so that the movement actually flows from frame to frame. Wow, what a book. How did I miss these games? How did I not play these? I would have loved them. Amazing. Looks like there's some amazing bosses in these. I played a lot of side scrolling games. Um, things like, I don't know, Silkworm, for example. Um, but yeah.
I'm actually jumping through several pages at a time here because I can't really show you the whole book in this one video. Um, I would really recommend getting this book. I think you can buy it from Amazon and places, but also from Bitmap Books have their own website. I think you can still buy it there. They tend to reprint a lot of their books because they do seem to sell out, such as their popularity. But I do believe you can buy this currently. And I think you should if you're into game art or retro gaming. If you're a bit older like me, i.e. 40 plus, um, you probably remember these games. Uh, and we'll find, looking through this book, really quite a gratifying experience. brain behind the glass dome. Amazing. So there's a series of interviews here from presumably the team that brought us the games. Um, not particularly exciting on the eye, it literally is just text here. So I'll skip over these a little bit. I'm sure they're very informative to read through. Paper aeroplane travelling through various desolate landscapes with dead soldiers and destroyed vehicles ends with the message Finn. Is this at the end of the game? I presume it is. I don't know. Anyway, amazing. Amazing book. This is a great book. Pick this one up if you're a Metal Slug fan. Uh, I'm sure if you are, if you've played those games, you'll find this a real walk down memory lane uh, and a beautiful item as well. A nice uh, bit of merchandise. Um, really recommend it. I mean, I, I really enjoy it. I've never played the games. So anyway, please like and subscribe the channel if you can and help support it. We'll see you next time.